G'day, my name is Bruce and this is the fourth and last in the series of the core cutter project and uh, now we've completed the job. I will show you how it goes together um, and how we, um, we pull the, uh, the blade out afterwards. <coughs> yeah, the idea is that this unit has um, this sub been closed up and it's gone down the hole and it's come back up again uh, it's got a drill on the other end of it come back up again and there's a a length of pipe on top of this a joint we call them a joints a joint on top 27 feet long or nine meters long and inside of that is the um, the core um, so what we want to do is to cut that core and um, and afterwards re remove it out of the tube and and cut it up for sampling so once it's up there on the rig on the rig floor they can then take this this door door off exposes the window and the idea is to be able to drive a blade through and cut the core off and then leave that leave the blade in there it's got a lot of pressure on it um, until such time as they lock up below it and then retract the blade out and the way to do that um, is, uh, is through this uh, cutter that I've made uh, it's got two half shaped items with a slot here for the the blade that that is then offered to to the gap to the window lightly locked up into place that's all it needs um, and then the <coughs> hydraulic hydraulic unit that, um, that I built uh, is, then, is then placed and operated so what we have here is, is the framework with a piston uh, and an adapter and, and the, the loose blade. So that then gets hooked up. This is the top. All the way around. This then gets offered up to the to the um, to the frame. And I've made it quite neat. That is then fitted into place, pinned up, pinned up. They have uh, safety pins which can be fitted in underneath. Um, here we go. That's one. There's one also for the main pin and one for this secondary pin. And they're on 400 pound fishing fishing lines, so they're quite robust. Now, once the pressure is applied to the cylinder, it will push the blade inside through the through the window. I haven't locked it up in the right spot, have I? Push it through the window, and it'll it'll stay there with the weight of the core sitting on it, it, it won't go anywhere. So then uh, the, the cutting mechanism, the hydraulic mechanism in the front gets removed. The shooter gets removed, the clamp arrangement, and the blade is left behind. And it's under quite a lot of pressure with this nine metres of core. Now I've made up yesterday uh, a tool for removing this because they say it, it gets in there quite tight. So what I've come up with is this, is this hammer arrangement and they'll, they'll just be able to pick it up like that and bang it out and pull it out and the job is done, ready for the next one. Thank you for watching.